Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy SR7 and welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing World Cup hero Joe Cole. So as you can see, he is 5 foot 9, right footed, high medium work rates with 4 star skills, 3 star weak foot. He can play left mid as well as right mid, cam and left wing which creates a lot of different options for squad building. Then looking at his stats, he's got 90 pace with 91 acceleration. He's got 86 shooting with 87 finishing, 89 long shots and 84 volleys. He's got 87 passing with 90 vision, 88 crossing and short passing as well as 88 curve. He's also got 91 dribbling with 91 agility, 92 ball control and 93 dribbling. He's got decent defending but not really relevant and he's got 72 physical with 79 jumping and 82 stamina. So those are the key stats on this card, that's what should make him good. But without further ado, let's get into the gameplay, let's see how he plays and I'll give you guys my thoughts on the card at the end of the video. So getting into the first clip here, the opposition are attacking down our left flank. We are going to try and make the tackle which we can't do. He plays the ball inside and we do make the interception with Konate this time. He plays the ball out to De Bruyne, he carries it forward a little bit before playing a ball into Joe Cole. Down to George Best, down to Bernardo Silva. We see Brolin making the run, we play him through in goal and we square this ball to Joe Cole who taps it into the back of the net, back across the keeper and finishes with a plum. So into the next clip here, we are going to make the tackle but we unfortunately cannot retain possession because that's how this game works. We go for the tackle again, one more time with Teo Hernandez, this time we are successful in our attempt of making the tackle. Play the ball down to Bernardo Silva, we do find Brolin in some space here. He rolls it into Joe Cole, who plays it back to Brolin, some beautiful team play there and a great finish into the near post. Next up here we do make a fantastic tackle there but again we don't win the ball because this game is broken that way. So we do win it this time with De Bruyne, we play this ball down to George Best. He makes some nice ground up here, he evades the opposition to tackle and we are through on goal here with Joe Cole. Can we score? Yes he does, no mistakes there, across the keeper, back of the net. Next up onto the ball again with Bentancourt, this time to Konate, played down to Marquez, some nice interlinking play here in midfield. We spot Joe Cole, w one more pass to Brolin and we go for the chip shot which he does bury into the back of the net there. Beautiful finish after some fantastic team play. Onto the ball again here, he opposition clears his ball, we do win the header. Ball falls to Bernardo Silva, we played into Brolin, we played across to De Bruyne this time, over the top to Brolin, back down to Joe Cole and we score from that knockdown header one more time, absolutely Pep Guardiola-esque, beautiful team play. We win this free kick here, a pathetic pass there but we do retain possession, played back down to Kevin De Bruyne. He does some nice dribbling to evade the opposition, plays it into Joe Cole, we go for the chip, we don't score, but we do score the rebound there. Fantastic play all round. Uh, opposition attacking us here again, we try to go for the tackle, we cannot make the tackle because we don't even get near him. We do win the ball here, headed out with Tomori, onto the ball now with Bernardo Silva again. We spot the run, we play a pass in and Joe Cole flying through on goal, he takes a nice touch there and he buries that past the keeper with a plum, just rolls it into the back of the net. Onto the ball now again, Kevin De Bruyne this time, we are running, finding some space here, played down to Joe Cole, we do lose the ball but we do win it back pretty much immediately, Joe Cole on the ball again, shooting across the keeper and once again finishing with a plum. Stretch and kick off we go here, we are 4-0 down, can we get some kind of <laughs> compensation in this game, can we just get a like a decent goal just to close it off. Some great dribbling there, we get the ball here with Joe Cole, a nice turn, we go for the driven shot and he does put that into the back of the net, past the keeper, which is pretty much just a consolation goal at this point. Onto the ball now again, we play it down to Joe Cole, he's running down the wing, we spot Brolin in the box, we play the ball to him, he goes for the header and unfortunately straight into the keeper's hands, but no fear because Joe Cole steps up here, steals the ball back and just plants that ball into the back of the net. We return to kick off here, it is 4-2 now all of a sudden and that consolation goal is no longer looking like a consolation because we can win this game, we are back into it, onto the ball with Joe Cole, down to Brolin, we go for the chip shot here and we do put that into the back of the net, we turn 4-0 into 4-3 in literally seconds and almost generate a comeback. We try win this ball with Kanate, we do win it on the second attempt, 
He plays it into space, played through to Joko, we are through on goal, we go for goal across the keeper and he buries that into the back of the net. Next flip here, we win the tackle there, a beautiful tackle kind of back legged there, but we played down to De Bruyne, down to Joe Cole, some nice one two here. Unfortunately, we lose it there with George Best, but that doesn't matter because we win it back really quickly with Marquez, down to De Bruyne again. We find Joe Cole, he goes for goal across the keeper, outside foot shot, and he buries that into the back of the net. So, as you can see, we do end this review with 10 games, 10 goals, and 3 assists. 13 goal contributions in just 10 games, which is a fantastic return from this card. So I'm going to give you a rundown now of each stat and then give you an overview of the card at the end. So starting with pace, this man is rapid. He's so quick on and off the ball. You send him through and goal, he absolutely flies across the field. No chance of anybody catching him or getting near him and definitely nobody can stop him. Looking at shooting, again another very good stat on this card. His shooting is actually very good. He's a very good finisher as well. Give him a chance in the box. He will take it. He will finish it 9 out of 10 times, which was impressive to me. I mean, finishing in this game sometimes can be difficult, and this guy makes it easy. Like I said, takes his chances without any issues. And he does have some other shots in his locker as well. Decent on finesse shots. Very good with the power shots as well. So, you know, he has different elements to his game when it comes to shooting. Passing, another very good stat. This guy is very, very creative in this game. He creates a lot of chances for his teammates. Puts the ball on a plate for them and essentially just helps them get into opportunities to score a lot more goals and help the team. Short passing, long passing, crossing, it's all very good. He can put the ball on a sixpence for his teammate. So if you get somebody next to him that's competent with finishing, this guy will absolutely shine because his passing, like I said, is impressive. Dribbling, for me, this is the key stat on this card. This guy's dribbling is fantastic. Honestly, out of this world, his close control is amazing. He's so silky, so smooth on the ball, his movement is fantastic and his just all round dribbling is on another level. He's so evasive on the ball, he just slips past defenders and you cannot do anything about it because like I said, he moves in such little circles so quickly that honestly, you have no chance of stopping him, catching him or getting anywhere near him. Comes to physical, not the strongest of players as you can imagine, so he does tend to get pushed off the ball. He does get bullied now and then, especially by the bigger centre-backs like Van Dijk. So you can't expect him to hold his own. But the one thing he's got going for him is his pace in dribbling. So while he might get pushed off the ball, you have to catch him first to push him. So all in all, what do I think of this card? Honestly, he's a fantastic card, an exceptional player in game. He will improve anybody's team and I mean that's pretty much what you would expect from a card of this calibre. He can do, he can do it all, he can run, he can shoot, he can pass. He can dribble. I mean, he's literally got so many different elements to his game. You can play him striker to finish chances. You can play him cam to create chances. You can play him out wide to stretch the field. Like I said, so many different uses for this card. He's so good. And the fact that he's only like 300k is fantastic news for everybody. Because honestly, I think that price is the sweet spot for like kind of the edge of balance of where you can get a player that's very good or not so good and he falls on the right side of that line. 300k, like I said, perfect price for a perfect player and the value that you get for him for the price that you're spending is honestly, it's fantastic. You're not gonna lose out by getting this guy. You're not gonna regret getting this guy. He is so good and you know, he will take you to the next level. So, do I give him the stamp of approval? 100%, yes I do. Fantastic card, fantastic signing, fantastic player. He will make your team so much better He'll take your attacking to the next level and he'll just make this game so much more enjoyable for you as well. So why do I give him as a rating out of 10? He gets an 8.5 out of 10, which is a very solid rating, a very good card. And I mean, that just pretty much shows what I've been saying about him. No, that is not the highest rating that I've ever given because like I did say, he's not the best player that I've ever used. There are better options out there. There are better players out there. But having said that, don't get what I'm saying twisted by no means am i saying that he's not good because like i said he is a fantastic player in this game but like i did say there just are other options that are slightly better than him so they would get obviously the higher ratings and you know the the better a review so essentially what i'm saying is he's a fantastic card he's a fantastic player but he's not the best player in the game by any stretch of the imagination there are better players there are better options out there 
which is why he gets an 8.5 out of 10, which at the end of the day is a very solid rating for a very solid player. Okay, so anyway guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up button, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so already, and until next time guys, peace.